It's that time. New Ghostbusters 2. This is a PAL exclusive, as you probably know already. This is a Ghostbusters game that people generally seem to like, so that should be fun, instead of the horrible Ghostbusters game that we all know so well, and laturations and all that. Let's start the game. You got Peter, you got Ray, you got Egon, and you got Winston. I'm gonna go with Ray. I'm gonna go with Winston, and we're gonna go. I know Pio, you're first today. How you doing? So you, just, you zap the ghosts, you grab the ghosts. It's the name of the game. Whoa. Oh no. The ghost is having ghost babies. Wonder if you can get extra lives in this. They're like little uh, Lolos. Doesn't Lolo have a sister? A pink Lolo? Maybe I just made that up. Like Lolo too, Lolo with Ray and all that. I think maybe I made it up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's up, Joe Jack? You were watching my Diablo stream? Well, I had streamed it on the PS1 a long time ago, and then semi-recently did the Diablo... It's like a new version of Diablo. I forget what it was called, but that was really cool. I love Diablo. I'll, I'll do more Diablo streams in the future. I can never really get enough of that. That's like the kind of game I just play, like, I could just play endlessly, practically. I love that. It's the courtroom scene. Uh, not yet, I guess, though. Maybe I'm missing something. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! So many slimers. Is that a ghost ghostbuster? A ghost ghostbuster. Oh, hey! Sheep. They're throwing food in pots and pans. Pineapples and hangers. Oh my. This is a fun game. Uh, uh, we have a chainsaw, let's say. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Spectre Massacre. There's the Ghost Ghostbuster. this. Maybe. Whoa, whoa. Uh, oh my god. No. No, 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 no. I shouldn't be using a continue already. Maybe I should restart. Let me learn how to fight this boss. Red. 
Whoa. Hey, goddamn. Thanks, Retro Junkie, for gifting out subs. No. Uh, get that. Oh my god, so many things are happening. Uh, get this up to the Burrito Dad, uh, Adopted J Crane, Metal Dad, Wild Snakes. Uh, this looks just like the movie, it does. And then Alfred and the Fedic, get that out subs to Konopolis, Dubious Panic, Russ Lanko, UA, Aaron Bogard, and Zhang B 33F. Those are from Alfred and the Fedic. Thank you very much, Alfred, once again. And Twisted 350 sub, New Ghostbusters 2. On our 32nd month anniversary, Mike, you shouldn't have. Yeah, well, I did. I did. There we go. So that's round one, but I didn't do too hot. I don't know if you can get more lives than continues. Should I redo it? I'd like to beat this. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna I'm gonna not die on the first level, and then maybe I can get through the game. How about that? So let's start over. We're gonna make it through the first level and not die. Have I played the Game Boy version? Um, there's a Game Boy Ghostbuster game that's like Garfield, right? Or it is Garfield or something. Or there's the, or how do I say this? There's a Garfield game on Game Boy that's like the Ghostbusters game, if you know what I mean. There's that one, which I don't like very much. Almost has like a that Solomon's Key kind of thing going on, which I like Solomon's Key, but with the way you do the proton beam into the floor in that game. Uh, Dan Vask gifted out subs to Real Bernstein, Mermaid Melody Forever, M Mice Volta, DKTV9, and Mr. Reno. Thank you, Dan Vask. So many subs came in. We are at, wow, we are at a hype train level three right now. Thank you very much for that. I think we just went even further than that, didn't we? Hype. It says hype and a bunch of big birds came up. Level three complete. Does that mean it goes to level four? Or is it just done now? No, it's on level four. Now we're on hype train level four. Hype train level four. I guess this is the game you wanted to see today, then. You know, and they say you chose poorly. Well, I guess I chose well. You mean to say that you guys like Ghostbusters? I didn't know that. Next thing I'm gonna find out that you like Back to the Future and Batman. I didn't even know. Ha 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 ha. New Ghostbusters 2, no death. Whatever. And then uh, more gift subs came in from Alfred in the FedEx. He's he's just rolling in it. Uh, Zio sixty eight, random JP, dead serious investigations, Skull three hundred and sixty, and Gaga Doody, Gaga Doody. You got gift sub from Alfred, and then Ad Dub three fifteen also subbed and gift this up to Retro Travel Dude. We're almost at level five here. Good job, thanks guys. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was also thinking about maybe playing... Uh... Hey, Winston, get over here. Splatterhouse. The uh, one Paku graffiti one. Sometime here in October... 
Maybe. Maybe. It's a good game. Okay, now the boss. Get him, Winston. There you go. That's what you do. Stay really low. Much better. Thank you, Slug Trails, Walker Texas Dangler, Spiteful Frog. Get this up to Z Deck, Nikki Fog. Thank you very much. 67 months. Can you even imagine? Nikki Fog has been subscribed for. Thank you very much. And we are on the hype train, level 5. The highest we've ever made it was level 10, I think. Let's show them how we do things downtown. Okay, you can't go over there. Make a, a hack of this and get the Rick Moranis Ghostbuster in here, don't you think? Get Lewis Tully as a Ghostbuster playable as well. I say, get to work, mod community. Somebody might have already done that. Pick a side. Um, oh my god. Does it matter what side I go? Three lives. I might have just got extra life there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Hey, whoa, come on. I was standing in the. I wasn't on the tracks. That's cheap. I don't like that. I say that that's not fair. This game's not fair. Nah, it was kind of cheap. Seriously. Da -da 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 -da. Just me, or does the music sound like a little bit Mega Man-y? I feel like it's the music that could be on a stage for Mega Man. Just maybe. Oh, over here? Reminding me of like Final Fantasy 3 when you get on the train. Remember all that? Six, whatever. That's a cool part to that game, by the way. This is 
Slimer. Ah! What am I supposed to do here? Uh. What? Can I shoot that back? What do you do? What the hell are you supposed to do there? Uh, Brian Evanson, thank you very much for gifting subs to Lurks, Ninja, Junkhead, Zeth Till Death, and Mustard Bro or something. Thank you. There's a snake in my boot. Shooting like this at the same time? Really? Like, what do you do on Slimer? You have no idea how to beat that guy. Great. Well, that doesn't help me. Do, 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 do. Shoot and trap at the same time. All right. Chat was right. Thank you. If only I knew before. Hard boss is not hard until at all if you know what to do. I wish I knew that. It's Kirby. Kirby makes his appearance. That's not really Kirby. Just kidding. Ooh, how do I get this guy? Are these like ghost cupids? Uh, look at that eighties hardwood floor. Everything was wood back then. World? Even our video game consoles were wood. That's the problem with the gaming industry today. They need to bring back wood game consoles. The PS6 should be made of wood. That was the problem. Hey, they probably wouldn't have had all those delays going on, right? Because they had to get microchips and all this stuff. If you would have made it out of wood, you can just go chop down the tree in your backyard, and there you go, you got to have a PS6. I solved the problem. Walker, Texas Dangler, thanks for gifting us up to Cheeseball81. I don't know what to do. Oh, God, I hate myself. World? Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god. It's a ninja. Ninja ghost. Do 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 do. Bathtub. Anybody in the bathtub? Mike is a genius. Because I figured that out the whole problem with the gaming industry right here, right now in my stream.
It's such an easy solution, too. How could you not think of that? Oh, no! Dude, I've got some branches out in my backyard. That could be, like, the new Nintendo Switch. That's how it works, right? Now, I don't have a degree in uh, computer computers, but I... Can you come over here? What is he doing? Follow me. Oh, God. Hey! That's too far! pop up right on top of you. So this is a PAL exclusive game. But I think this game also came out in Japan. So you know how some like US NES games are different? Like, let's say Batman on NES. The Japanese version is different a little bit. Cutscenes and stuff than the US version. There's like some differences. What about differences between NES PAL European exclusives versus the their Japan counter counterparts? Are there any NES PAL exclusive games that are wildly different from when it came out in Japan? I'm asking the important questions today. Why is it new Ghostbusters 2? Because there was already Ghostbusters 2 on NES in the US. So this is another new Ghostbusters 2. And the Ghostbusters 3... There was no Ghostbusters 3 movie, right? So they were like, okay, there's Ghostbusters 2, which was out around the time of the NES, right? So they're like, we need another Ghostbusters 2 because the other one, we want another Ghostbusters 2 game. So they have, they couldn't call it Ghostbusters 2, 2. That's not good. Ghostbusters 2 Reloaded. I don't know. That's the best they could think of. New Ghostbusters do. Because they wanted another one. Maybe they didn't like the other Ghostbusters 2 game. And they were like, we need an another one. You know what would have been better? They should have remade Ghostbusters. Just the first movie? For NES? Come up with a completely new concept for the first Ghostbusters movie. There's your hack. Just straight up Ghostbusters, but you make a totally new game, but make it good. Based off of the first Ghostbusters movie. Because the first Ghostbusters game sucks ass. It sucks ass from a straw. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not doing too hot, huh? Actually, 
you know, you know what kind of ass it sucks. Ass. That kind of ass. too when the ghost touches Ray he dies right spins dies but Winston has the trap and he goes up what is preventing Winston from getting hit by the ghost that Ray doesn't have Does Winston have a magical piece of technology that allows him to walk through these ghosts that Ray doesn't get to have? I think that they should fix that. I don't think they thought about that, and I think that they need to fix it. What they should do is make new, new Ghostbusters 2. And just fix that one thing. Now, in 2023, by the way, I have to do that. I mean, it would be about time for them to fix that issue. Now I'm dead. But Winston's just fine. run. Ah. I feel like you should be able to like shoot some of the background objects and blow them up for like stuff. Like let's say you could shoot this box here and it blows up and you get money or something. Once in a while, I don't know, free uh, extra life. Whoa! Oh my God! It is me. Everybody's saying happy birthday. It's not my birthday. My birthday was a few days ago. So you can stop. You can goddamn stop it with that birthday wish. You be that. You be there on time. To be fair, I wasn't streaming on my birthday. So, yo, Mike Lewis Tully is a playable character in this game. He's 
to the bottom right in the character select. Oh, was he? Well, maybe they don't need a new, new Ghostbusters 2 then. What about Janine? I think this game was how I learned about PAL exclusives being a thing. Because I remember seeing this box or something and being like, wait a second, new Ghostbusters too? Like, what is this? And then I saw this game and I was like, wait, what? How do I play that game? Oh, was Europe, this was only in Europe? Wait, what? We didn't get this game? We didn't get this game, but we got the other game? learned about the world of PAL exclusives. Thanks to the internet. That was one of the good things the internet did. The internet needs to do more good things. It's got a lot of catching up to do. Hey, did he spawn right on top of me? So many. thing the chat likes old video games good things like chat about old video games oh that's another good thing what to be with the chat and talk about old video games that's true that's another good thing okay we got two the internet has about a hundred million bad things but we so far we got two good things just just a, a little bit more to go and to tip the scales a bit Surprised I don't have my Kenner Real Ghostbuster figures out for the occasion. I have I had those uh, with unbroken proton beams. I love those toys. I love the box the box art for those. With unbroken proton beams, are you impressed? <laughs> I want that money. What are the chances I'm not gonna get the money? It's gonna disappear. Oh, I got it. So does it? All right, that's my score, huh? So what about if I get to fifty thousand? Do you think I'll get an extra life? That is 50,000. It's probably 100,000. Somebody look it up. How many points to get an extra life in this game? Maybe when I beat bosses, they'll be worth more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see. 56. Mm, I moved! Come on. I 
feeling I might not be beating this, which is very upsetting. Oh my god. This is the beginning? What the hell do I do on those guys? Also, I don't remember them from Ghostbusters 2. Where were they? I don't think those were in the movie. You have to hold down the beam long enough for them to disappear, I say. So do they not need to be trapped? that they just spawn on top of you. Like, how, how are you supposed to handle that? Look at him dancing. Let's just watch him dance instead. You need to move around while holding them. Oh. Does it feel bust? Does it feel good to bust, Mike? Busting makes me feel good. Uh-huh. All right, let's try this again. This is, do you know what this is? Let me see if you guys can guess what the, this game is. Sometimes I play obscure games and people don't know what this is. This game is called New Ghostbusters 2. Can you see? All right, let's see. We'll, we'll be other people now. Let's be Bill Murray and Rick Moranis. That's what we're gonna be. Let's try it again. See what I wasn't doing? I was like walking all around like this, like a crazy person. Guess I gotta be, oh, if you go around a corner, it breaks the proton beam. be an expert here. This is, this is level one again. Show me where I go. Oh, really? To the left? I wouldn't have guessed. Chainsaw Man. What happened? I collect spores, mold, and fungus. This is the part where I never know where to go. There's like another room somewhere. This over here, right? I gotta do this? Yeah. Now I can go back. Do, 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 do. So you can go like that. I can go through the wall. Oof. Don't! If 
I die one more time, I'll reset. Go through, you can't go through the thing. Are you having fun? Uh, yes. I like this game. So yes. It also kind of pisses me off though, this game a little bit. But that's a good thing. That means it has a degree of challenge to it. If it didn't, it would be boring. So yes, much fun. Oh, what fun it is to play new Ghostbusters 2 today. Spiteful Frog, thank you very much for gifting us up to MBD39. Yeah, that is a uh, NES game. There is a NES Blues Brothers game, and it's really bad. It's really bad. Speaking of Dan Aykroyd, like all these like SNL games have like a Tommy Boy for. Sega CD. Anybody have that really rare Tommy Boy game for Sega CD? It's worth $10,000. I've got a couple copies of it. There's the extra life, right? I think. Extra continue would be better. Super David Spade world. Come on! the Wayne's World game. Like how many things can be considered SNL games? Blasto, maybe? <laughs> sort of. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, how cool were you? You were around 1 to 2? Oh, 10. Oh, I thought you were talking about your penis size. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So you weren't very popular in high school? <laughs> how did Austin Powers ever get a game time? There uh, is Austin Powers like bowling or something, right? Is that PlayStation? There is Austin Powers game. A couple of them, right? Or pinball. There's pinball. Austin Powers pinball. Uh, 
that. And there's also that uh, Flintstones bowling game that's on PS1 that's actually pretty fun. I'm going to play that again one of these days. What is my go-to Halloween movie for the season? Uh... What? What, because they gotta be like lined up or something? Like... Am I even doing any better? Um, okay, like... I don't know that I have like one... Movie. There's all kinds of horror movies that I like. Um, hang on a second. There, now it works. That couldn't work the first time. Um, I don't know, man. Alien, Ghostbusters, Halloween. The Shining, Beetlejuice, Adam's Family, um, Universal Monster Movies. The thing. All movies that I'm sure you've probably already seen. Exorcist is good. Um, is that good enough? That's what. Why do I get to answer that question? I edited Cinemassacre's Monster Madness for like eight years. Go watch. I don't. I don't know some of the later ones, but go watch those videos, and those will give you a good idea what to watch. The uh, Christopher Lee, like, like the Hammer horror movies. Some of those are pretty good. Like the first. I like the uh, Curse of Frankenstein and Hor Horror of Dracula. The first. The first couple in those series. Like, the first three Christopher Lee Draculas are pretty good. They get, they get pretty bad later. Um, a, a Night of the Living Dead. I love Night of the Living Dead. It's a great one. Should be obvious, though. Um... People are probably been listening stuff now. My cousin Vinny. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My cousin Vinny. Of course. Uh, I like that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but Christopher B. Right. Yeah. Cater Mass. Yeah. Those are good. That's more like sci-fi, though. Isn't that more like an alien thing? Sometimes I put like the sci-fi alien things kind of in another category. Tales from the Crypt. Uh, the show. I like Tales from the Crypt, but only certain episodes. I think there's a bunch of like not good episodes of that show, but... There's a bunch of good episodes, though. So I like the good episodes. So there's one about uh, whatever it's called, uh, the, the ice cream one. 
That one's really good. The one with, oh crap, the one with Don Rickles is really good. With the, with the dummy. I like that one. Can you really grab him? What is the problem? I have to be like out of here. taxes for you. Maybe I shouldn't have brought along Lewis Tully. Anybody want to play Boggle? Super Mario Brothers? Excuse me, we're trying to cast ghosts here. This is important. Yahtzee. can't go. How about that? Why aren't the other ones there as backup? What are they doing right now? They're in the Ghostbuster shed jerking off. Shouldn't they be following behind like like helping or something? Like Or the firehouse, I mean. Not the not the Ghostbuster shed. Imagine if Kenner released that as a toy. Oh, it's the Ghostbuster shed. Fifty dollars for the Ghostbuster shed. All he goes when Janine's not giving him any attention. Went to the Ghostbuster shed. Come on, come on. Hey, dude, this is a problem. The, he wasn't coming up. He... What? Because I just said the thing about the shed. in the shed. Now I gotta be nice to the to the AI in the game. like his hair is like all frazzled. I mean, that definitely represents him. It's pretty good. What 
dude, like, they're just appearing on me. I gotta get better at zapping these guys when I'm walking away. for this game. It's <laughs> a good question. Ernie Hudson does cons, right? That's a question to ask him at a convention. If you, if you see Ernie Hudson at one of these conventions, ask him. Bring the game with you. Or show him a picture on your phone or something. Be like, so there, there was this new Ghostbusters 2 game that came out in uh, like 1990 or whatever. Did you ever get paid? Remember, I did that video... Uh, Macaulay Culkin, we, we asked him that question, because there's somebody that was actually in a video game back then, right? Like the Page Master. I was like, uh, what about this uh, Page Master game? He's like, what? <laughs> like, it doesn't even, you know? I don't think they, like... They probably didn't even, not only, they probably didn't even, they probably didn't get paid, and they probably didn't even know about it, is how, what I think happened. The, the other thing, too, though, is, like, something like Ghostbusters, or, like, Home Alone, and, like, all that stuff, is, like, there's so much merchandise, like, especially Ghostbusters, there's so much merchandise, you could ask that for so many different things, it's like, okay, there was, uh... Like the pro the proton pack, the blue proton pack. Did Bill Murray get a paycheck in the mail for the blue proton pack toy? You know. Or was it like a general check, just for all, like all the Kenner, just for all toys? Maybe you get one check a year just for every all, all the like all the toys in general. That way, that way, if you ask like a specific question, oh, did you get paid for that one specific toy? It's like you get paid for all a, a percentage probably for all of the toys. So they don't know the specific. They don't care. Just get the money. They're not gonna know the specific toys. I don't think. I would think if anybody was getting paid, it'd be probably uh, Dan Aykroyd, because Dan Aykroyd wrote it, right? So he had to be getting a bigger cut. I mean, he wrote it, you know, starred in it, but wrote it. So if anybody's getting the paycheck, I think it's going to be Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd is the one to ask. But honestly, if you're going to ask Dan Aykroyd anything, ask him... Ask him more questions about the seance he had when he was a kid. And he had there was a trumpet floating around the room, apparently. And everybody saw this trumpet floating around the room, so he says. 
I'd like to ask him more questions about that. Shit. Like, where did this happen? Do you think that maybe one of the adults in the room was like playing a joke and like had it on a string and you didn't know? So you like you you believed it because you were probably like six years old and like your uncle or somebody is like laughing in the corner and he's got it like on a string, but you still believe it to this day? Do you think maybe it's something like that? Because that's back in the t days of. I mean, what did that have to be in the 1950s or something, or the four, the 60s or whatever? This these stories he's talking about. There was no computers, cell phones. You know, back then. They're just bored. They have nothing to do. What do you What do you want to do on the weekend? I don't know. Let's have a séance. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set up this thing. Uh, my friend, dude, my buddy's going to be upstairs in the, my buddy's going to be in the room above where we're having the seance. We drilled a hole in the ceiling and we have like some fish string and we're going to, here's what we're going to do. Everybody's going to be sitting around the table and I'm going to pull the string and then the, it's going to look like the trumpet's like floating and then I'm going to like drop it back to the table. Oh my God. Little Danny, little Danny is going to believe it. Hook, line, and sinker. That's what I'd like to know. Or does he not actually believe it? And does he put on a... Um, does he put on a bullshit act pretending like he believes it to sell books and merchandise and movies and all this? Is it a, is it a merchandising... Is it a money scheme? I'm gonna act like I believe all this stuff because I wanna sell this book or whatever. I wanna sell these products, so if, if I believe it, there's a better chance people are gonna buy this stuff. Because if I don't believe it, then nobody's gonna buy it. <laughs> right? Ackroyd also said on a UFO documentary that he woke up in the middle of the night by a compelling force to go outside but didn't and later found out it was a pink spiral in the sky. How did the ghost blowjob scene get not get cut from a PJ movie? Because he does it's not like he actually pulls his cock out. They just like it shows the zipper like coming open and then they like cut away is how. Now if he actually fucking pulled his fucking schlong out and like started like fucking the ghost, then it would have to be cut. It's the way it was done. It was implied. Yeah. I mean, have you actually watched the scene? You don't really see much happening. Maybe if he came in the ghost's ass? What?
right, this is the part I die, right? The NES has been out for 40 years. Why are we not seeing ghost kids playing NES? What, because kids from the 80s that grew up with this stuff are so old that they might be dead? Wait, what? Does anybody understand that? I'm like trying to understand that. Killer WBM, thanks for the sub. Now we can make them into portraits. Yeah, somebody else goes, huh? <laughs> I like that nobody understands. I'm just gonna move on. He's implying people 40 years ago died of old age. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. It just doesn't make sense. I it just... Do you have the Kenner Ecto-1 along with the real ghost? But I do, and it's great because it fits in the firehouse, unlike the thunder tank that didn't fit in the claw of the cat's lair, which was very disappointing. So it turns out that the game, sir... G7 controller update only works if you keep the window having a mouse focus the whole time. Gee, just what I was wondering. Thanks for getting the update on that. Okay, no, seriously, less awkward username. What are you talking about? Gamester G7 controller? No, I'm playing NES. I'm, this is what I'm using. It's an NES controller. What are you talking about? Gamester I'm going to look it up. Let's see if this has anything to do with the, uh, anything. Does that have to do with Ghostbusters? Gamester G7 controller. Okay, it's an Xbox controller. Okay, what does that have to do? And there's an update for it, so you gotta update your Xbox controller or something? Okay, I have an Xbox controller right here. And uh, I don't know, maybe it needs to be updated. I don't know, a lot of modern controllers do, but what does it have to do with anything? He says, I just opened the controller while you were playing. We talk about what you're doing while you're playing. 
But I'm not doing anything with the G7 controller thing. That's not what I'm doing. I'm using a NES controller. That's what you're doing. Do you not know the difference between what you're doing and what I'm doing? You're going to use it on Ghosts and Goblins? What version of Ghosts and Goblins? If you're playing it on NES, you, you should use an NES controller. Vagina smells like a hot pocket. Now, I don't know what a vagina you're dealing with, but Henry the Wizard, that's a, now we're on a different subject. <sighs> Do you see why I have conversations with myself often while I play these games? Sometimes I'm sitting and I'm playing the games, and I'm like, oh, yeah, and then this happens with... Peter Venkman and then blah 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 and I'm just like talking to myself because when I do try this is what happens I to be honest I think the LGN Cat's Lair is the better playset than the Firehouse I would agree at least that's on topic of Ghostbusters, because he's talking about the, to the Ghostbuster toys. So good job, Daniel. Good job. Most of us are normal, Mike. Uh, I have evidence to the contrary, uh, to be honest with you. Jaja83. All right, back to the game. Well, I'm glad that you're playing... Oh, that is the noise of an extra life. Definitely. All right, cool. I'm glad you're playing... Ghost... Oh, you're, you're playing... He said the Switch one. You're playing the new Ghosts and Goblins game. You're not playing real Ghosts and Goblins. You're playing like that other, that newer one. I say. Oh my god. Let me know when you're playing the Ghosts and Goblins arcade game. It's a real fun time, that game. Do you guys remember when I did that? It's probably like five years ago now. That was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. That was one of the worst. That was one of the worst ones. Ghosts and Goblins Arcade. I don't talk about that one very much because I think I blocked it out of my memory. <laughs> there's some, there's some of me probably like, why does Mike never talk about some of these games? Some of these ones are were so horrible. I think I, it was like, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder or whatever. I... I think, like... Uh, you know how your parents say that video games aren't bad for you? That's what they used to tell us in the 80s. They'd be like, oh, don't sit too close to the TV. Don't play too much of those video games. They'll rot your brain. That was the, that's what they said. They'll rot your brain. It, that is true. That is true. I am the living proof that that statement is true. What just happened? Hang on. Okay. Koala Koa just gift subbed out a hundred gift subs. So you guys will be able to uh, not look at ads on, on Twitch here for 30 days. So if I read out your name, that means 
you got a gift sub. All right. You should know anyway. Do I have to read out all these names? There's so many. You know what I should do? I should do a poll on whether or not I should read out all the names. Because you guys that got the notification, you guys that got the notification, you know that you got the sub, right? If you just got gift sub, like, you get some kind of notification that says you got gift sub. So is me reading it out, is that necessary? Even... I'm just realizing, do a poll. I am gonna do a poll on that. Let's do a poll. Let's do this. New poll. All right. Do I have to read out gift subs? If it's one, that's one thing. But I mean like if it's like 50 or 100. say if more than 50. Yes, no. And I'm not going to allow additional votes. None of that bull crap. All right, poll is starting. And Walker Texas Dangler, thank you very much for, uh, for, for that sub. In the meantime, while we're deciding whether or not I need to read out these subs, I'm gonna read out these subs because now we gotta wait for the poll to end. Ryan Pyro, you got a gift sub. Elias Node got a gift sub. White Mage, Bobby G, Kid Pro, Tilty McSteamer, John Bailey, Chomp This, Mame Gaming, Flick25, Tiz Dog, Flowasaurus, Elbow Fuckface, Game Dungeon, Gabster. Oakster8870, Victor Kun 1995 Muffy, Make, Make a You, I can never say that one, Capoose412, Pitto, or Pit, uh, Pit of, Hate Wolf, Alex Moron, J Boy TV, Hysteric, Same Man, Rump, Rump, Axe Soul, Bone Archer, Zenker, Starscream, 2-1-82, Matt Pod, Reeves, Mega D79, Retro Raised, Plastic Oasis, this whole time that the uh, poll's been going, by the way, Linard, Gaga, Delmon Cox, Palheta, Crown Dandyman, Vile Ox, Kaz Mazel, Hidden Terror, Working Player, Kane, Cosmic Omelette, Cheshire Kitten, Krillin, 22J, LJ Plus, Jaden, Dolomite, Ricky, Plutonium P1, Soul Blaster, Munch Mills, Ham Thai, Sty 3XX, Astronaut Grizz, Dave Carr, Zombie Souffle, Dizzy McDingle, Booze Terminator, I like that one, Winter Moot, Great Kent, The Streaming Reserve, Modern XP, Ty Solo, Stanley Hawk, I feel like I'm reading out a book. Bampot, Bebop, Mr. Clean, Frankie, Hyperthyroid, Samuel Grimm, Professor Reezy, Bob, Bob O, Scheme 41, Laughing Seal, Real Best Gamer, Pumpkin Escobar, Everkill, Killed by Pixel, Naked and Nude, Gorpulon, Septic Chaos Tar, Pac 420, James Matei 3, Kirthas, Laz 92, The Beats, Jazzist, Six Ton Gorilla, and Reduced Cream. You all got gift subs from 
Koala Koa. I still can't say her name. Thank you. And Alfred and the FedEx, thank you as well. And then more gift subs came in from I Fornicate. Gifted ad subs to Max Wright, Slider, Vespi, Unclear Utter or something, and Lone Swordsman, and those are for I Fornicate. Okay, let's see what the poll said. Do I have to read out gift subs if more than 50? 55% said yes, 45% said no. That means I must read them out. There you go. Lucky Monkey also subbed. Hello, motherfucker. This isn't a gift sub. I see that. That's just you subscribing, and I appreciate it very much, Lucky Monkey. Okay. Back to the game now. If you remember, I was playing Ghostbusters 2. New Ghostbusters 2. Let's keep going, shall we? They're like, we would actually prefer you to just read out gift subs. Hey, listen, if you just want to sub and have me read them out, we can do that. That's what you're really looking for. I think they just enjoy me completely butchering their names. Is that the Ghostbusters poster on the wall? Is that them digitizing and shrinking down the Ghostbusters poster? So the poster for Ghostbusters 2 is on the wall. In the Ghostbusters 2 game. Don't they look at that and they're like, hey, what is this post? What is the, this movie poster of us on the wall here? They don't think that's weird at all? And it's everywhere. Here's the, here's the yellow variant. It's very rare. Damn, Mike, did you just read out the Encyclopedia Pertanica? That would be uh, the Encyclopedia Britannica with a B. Try it again, Mumra. Mumra farts out mummy dust. Mumra is a fuck. Doo doo. Whoa. What is up with the orange slimers? Slimers. Go get him. Uh oh. Oh, come on. That did not need to happen. Oh, you can go all the way down there? Great. In the, in the courtroom, they did, like, figure eights, so I assumed that they were going to do the same thing. Guess you don't assume anything when it comes to new Ghostbusters 2. Am I right? Continue screen for a second. I thought it was Mama for Telly. But then I remember it's, uh, what's his name? Like Yanish or whatever? The dude in Bean. 
the dude that was in Ghostbusters 2 and Bean. What a career. That Bean movie, that all they do is repeat gags that you already saw on the TV series. Like, he gets the turkey stuck on his head, which is like in the Christmas episode of Mr. Bean. It's like, yo, we saw the turkey thing before. Why don't you come up with something new? Why even make a movie if you can't come up with something new? Just don't do it. We saw these jokes already. If you're going to see the Mr. Bean movie, odds are you've seen the show. You want me to laugh at the same gag again because you're too lazy to write something new? Rowan Atkinson? Oh, that's right. Calling out Rowan Atkinson. Now, I like the show. It's fine. It was, it was funny the first time I saw it. I hate that in movies. You know, they just repeat the same crap that you've already seen from the show. If that's what you have to do, is just reuse all the same jokes that were on the show, then that should tell you that there shouldn't be a movie. You should do a movie if you have an idea and they're all like new good ideas. It should be like overflowing with like new awesome ideas that are funny because you have the opportunity to like make a make a major motion picture. Oh no, let's just recycle the same shit. Great idea. I'm still angry about the Mr. Bean movie, just in case you were not sure. Yo, and I watched that, I watched that, uh, it's not Mr. Bean, but it's basically Mr. Bean, and he's like catching a, a bee. It's like the, the bee movie or whatever with Mr. Bean. It's not Mr. Bean, it's just like Rowan Atkinson. It's like a new thing, it's like on Netflix, right? It's literally just a movie, right? And it's all just him going after this bee for like two hours, right? And whatever, he takes a flamethrower to this bee and like all this stuff. He's like tormented. Fine. He got this stupid movie. Fine. But it's like they made it as though it was supposed to go to the theater, but then it didn't go to the theater. So they put it on Netflix. So every like seven minutes... They, like, broke the movie up into episodes on Netflix. So it was, like... And then, literally, when they would come back for... It would be, like, if you literally just took, uh, whatever, Ghostbusters. And then, like, every five minutes, it ended. And there's, like, credits. And then it, and then a new episode starts, but it's just the next part of the movie. It's, like, it's not... It clear, like, super clearly, like, wasn't meant to be... A show, but they turned it. They turned this movie into a show because they probably couldn't sell it. Every theater like was like, "Oh no, we can't. No, we're not. This isn't gonna be in theater. This is, this is like some direct to DVD shit, man." And they're like, "Oh, but there isn't direct to DVD anymore. Nobody does DVDs anymore." And they're like, "I don't know. Uh, we sell we sell things as shows now." We can do it as a show. He's like, but then it'll be broken. You'll break up the movie. We don't care. Sell it as a show or don't, or nobody sees it. And that's man versus bee. Whatever the hell it was called. Bee versus bean. Oh, here he is. All right, maybe I should consult, like, what the hell do we do on this guy, by the way? V8 Tracks, thanks for the sub. Can you do the don't tell me what I should do impression for old sakes time, old time sakes? Don't tell me what I should do impression? I don't know what that is. First explain what that is. For 
<laughs> for old sake's time. <laughs> I said, for old sake's time, Mike is fucking with him. I'm not. I had no idea what he's talking about. What is he talking about? Don't tell me what I... Oh, do you mean the... You mean the all you motherfuckers thing? You uh, you didn't write that part out. The Texas, it's from, so it's from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Uh, there's a character in the movie I like. And he's... Um, He's just like a crazy guy in the movie. And I don't know. I, I used to think that movie was funny, so sometimes I would just repeat what the guy said in the movie because I thought it was funny. I don't know. Hey, Mike, can you do that funny thing? Yeah. So, yeah, I do know what you're talking about. It is from three. Didn't I say that? Did I say two? I thought I said, didn't I say, rewind that. Well, this wouldn't be rewind anymore. What is it called? A reverse back or whatever. See, I'm still in the VHS era here, so whatever. Rewind it. I think I said three. He did say three. See, they said I said three. So this guy's saying I didn't say say three. Ty the blockbuster guy, it is from three. Dot, dot, dot. Like I'm an idiot. But I said three. What, what about this guy? I, that, I, that's why I looked at the chat. Yeah, you said three. Okay. No, no, no. I meant I thought it was from two. You thought it was from two. Well, what the hell do I care about what you think? I said it was from three. The guy wants me to do this impression of this thing that I used to do a lot. Just Would you, would you just keep your mouth shut? Ty. You're, it's just, you, it wasn't, what you said wasn't needed is the thing. The thing that, here's the thing, Ty, listen. The, what you're saying is fine, but it's not it's something that you needed to type into the chat. It was a thought in your head. You didn't need to type that out. You needed to think to yourself, uh, was that in two or was that in three? That wasn't like something that needed to go to me. Just think it, just think it. Think, the lesson here is think first about what you're going to type. See, he, you're in a you're in a uh, stream of consciousness type of thing in here. You're just like typing like whatever comes to mind, whatever comes to mind. No, 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 no. I'm in the middle. I'm trying to like I would like advice on this boss right now. I don't need this. I guess I'm going to try it myself. I didn't see anybody say anything, so forget it. Just forget the whole thing. All right, so it's something like that. At least I have an idea. That is so hard. There's like nowhere to be. Oh my God. And that's it. You think they could just start me from like that level at least? Yeah, no, exactly. All right, well, I'll try it again. I'm gonna take a break, then we'll try it again. I'll, I'll be back. All right, I am back. I've been playing new Ghostbusters 2 for NES. This is a PAL exclusive, I believe. Uh, I think it came out in Japan too, though. So Japan and Europe, I guess, got it, but the U.S. did not get this game. We got the other Ghostbuster games, which were just great. So I'm going to try it again. I think I was on the second to last guy there, so getting there. Getting there.
Is this my favorite game? No, but it's okay. It's okay. Mike Matei, I enjoy those ads. Well, I made them just for you. I made them for all of you because I love you all so much. God help me. You made a commercial for Mighty Number no. 9, if you want. Uh. No. <laughs> sure. Send it over to me. I'll watch. I'll, I'll look at it. What if you hate the ads? You can, you can totally hate the ads. Uh, the thing is, I don't care what you hate or what you like. Really. That's for you to care about. It's for you to care if you hate something or like something. I don't care what you like or dislike, personally. I play the ads because I like them, because it's my stream. So let's say you did a stream, you could put on things that you like. You, you hate existence? Me too. We're on the same page. Hey Mike, show us your brown ring. I, he, 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 he means my butthole, but uh, my butthole is not a brown ring. It is like a strawberry. Think of a strawberry. What else would you guys like to talk about today? Jesus? Now, was that, you want to talk about Jesus? Or you want, or you're saying that, that was that a reply to what me talking about the butthole? You're, or is that, you want to talk about Jesus? Or you, talk, you want to talk about, you're saying like, oh, Jesus. I think that was a, oh, Jesus. He's hoping that I'll play the game. He meant to say Jesus fucking Christ. Ah. Now I understand what you meant. Tulip. You're saying like my butthole is like a tulip. Talk about the butthole. I just did. We talked about how it was like a, a tulip. Strawberry. Delectable. Delicious and delectable. Is there anything else you guys would like to talk about before I do another run of this game? They really only want to talk about... <laughs> You'd like to know how you control both guys at once? Well, you get the one guy over here, like this, and then you get the one... You get the one over <laughs> Um... So, oh, oh, in the game. So, uh, you move the characters around with a D-pad, and one button is the proton beam, I mean the A button for the proton beam, and the B button for to throw out the trap. It's pretty simple, actually. Yeah, you move the D-pad around. Do I have Ghostbuster toys within the hand's reach? I don't think so. A couple Transformers. That's about it. They're all packed. I have it all packed away. Why don't you show more bulge ever considered hot tub streams? Uh, I don't think this is the website for it. Um, but maybe on another website, another day, uh, but not here, unfortunately. It's like if you go to um, YouTube, you're gonna look at YouTube videos, you're gonna look at videos. If you go to Instagram, you're gonna look at pictures. If you go to, come to Twitch, you're probably gonna see somebody playing a video game. Uh, it would be another website for, for that. That's why. 
different website. You wouldn't mind more bulge. You're, so you're saying that you don't have enough bulge? Or you're saying you'd like to see more of mine? If only I could give you a little bit of mine, I would. That's how nice of a guy I am. YouTube has a video with 30 million views. Oh, he did, oh wow. He did that to his butthole, huh? Watch where the Ghostbusters come out of the picture right at the ghost dick. That actually kind of looks like a gaping asshole, doesn't it? That's what it made me think of. I wasn't thinking about how it came out of the ghost dick. It may be, that right there, it just made me think of a gaping asshole. If I reviewed this game, if I did like a written review, I'd have to put that in there. New Ghostbusters 2 opens with a gaping butthole. Get hype or die trying. Thank you very much for the sub. Might play another NES game after this one. Well, I want to try to beat this right now, we'll see. Um, I want to show you guys something. We're going to do this in a second, but I want to show you something. So, you know how all the years... we. So, this is how it used to be. My, my ROMs used to be like this, right? And it'd be like, people would be like, why do you have so many ROMs of like California games? And it would be like, because some are broken and some work. So if I, if I picked one, one might be broken, but if I had another one, like this, maybe this one, let's say this one here was broken, maybe this one here would work or this one would work. So I had a bunch of ROMs like that. And that's why I kept so many. So I have at least one that probably will work, right? But this is a mess. This is a mess. So I manually, over the last month or so, have been going through and fixing it. But what I had to do was literally, I literally tested every single one. So off stream, I've been doing this. So now we have it like this. It's just, just the games and I know that they work. Like next time I wanna play Bayou Billy, this should work, watch it not work and make me look like an idiot. No, there it goes and it works. So boom, done. So they all work now. And then I have unlicensed, I also have un all the unlicensed tested. So I can do an unlicensed uh, bunch of streams or something. These all work. And then I have Europe. So we have all the Europe stuff. European, which is the category we're in today with new Ghostbusters 2. And then also, I've been going through Famicom, and I've been trying to get games for Famicom that I would want to play. Um, so I've got a list of Famicom games. I haven't tested all these to know that they all work yet. I haven't done that. but So I've been organizing my files so these streams can go a little better because you know when you're watching these streams and I put a game on and then like it's like broken or whatever I'm trying to like stop that from happening but anyway all right so let's get back to this we're doing new Ghostbusters 2 Like how Jekyll and Hyde has its own category. That's because whatever. It's too long of an explanation. <laughs> Let's just play this. All right. So new Ghostbusters. So here we go. All right. What was I doing? Let's do Egon. I'm gonna do Lewis again. All right. 
So to explain the controls again, so I'm just holding down A, right? I can I can move him around, and then I hit B to grab him. That's pretty much it. So I'm moving the guys around with the D-pad. A button to do that, B button grabs him. A button, and you can move around when you have the proton beam on the ghost, like that, and then grab him. That's how the controls work, if you were wondering. It is, uh, it works well. It's, and it's very easy and intuitive to learn. This is a very pick up and play game, which is why I think people like it. Unlike Ghostbusters on NES, the original game, which is like, people are like, wait, what? What the hell do you do? You know? And understandably, because that's just a mess of a game. There's also that Ghostbusters Sega Genesis game, which um, I stink at that game. I need to like practice it or something. I always get like stuck. One day I'm gonna learn that game and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Someday. If there's anybody who's like real good at that Genesis Ghostbusters game, stick around my streams. One day we'll play that. And you can uh, teach me how to play it. Because <laughs> every time I try to play it, I just fail miserably. I don't know. I have a hard time with that one. I, I like that I can't do that game, but I can I can do the regular NES game. If that doesn't tell you right there that I'm mentally deranged, I don't know what does. Six hundred and sixty six viewers. Oh my god, it does say six hundred and sixty six viewers. Happy Halloween everyone. Have you all got your Halloween costumes? Do you have any Halloween plans? Only holiday I actually actually like. I used to like Christmas, but not anymore. <laughs> I'm just very done with it. I still like Halloween. Halloween's good still. The rest I can do without. I just suck up the cart there, too. Have you played Ghostbusters 2 on NES? Do you like or hate it? Uh, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Uh, somewhere in the middle? Probably. Just, like, really somewhere in the middle. Like a 5 out of 10, like, just right in the middle. Like, I don't really... I definitely don't, like, hate it. It's, like, fine. It's not, like, something... It's not, like, a skate or die situation where, like, I hate skate or die. That's a zero for me. Sorry, skate or die fans. Like, I hate... I fucking hate that game. And I hate it in a way that's, like... At least... Okay, so something like Jekyll and Hyde. That's bad, but it's, like... Maybe I could give it, like, a two. It's got, like, atmosphere. There's, like, an idea to it. Yeah, it's real bad. That's why I'd give it, like, a two. But at least it's got some elements, and it can kind of be fun in a bad game way. Where, where Skate or Die, I just, I hate it. I don't want to play it. 
help in, in any way, shape, or form. So like he, the Ghostbusters game, I would I would play that one one day. Uh, I do a stream of it. I haven't yet because it's like eh, I'd rather play this. die instead. Yeah, there's ski or die. Skate or die. Isn't there another one, too? I think there's, like, I think there's another one. Six four seven. Thanks for the sub. Die or die. That's that part in uh, the beginning of Super Pit Pitfall where you're like, oh, let me go down this ladder, and then you just go down, and it's like spikes and bats and like lava. It's like, what are your choices there? Oh, die or die. That's your choices. hoping more would happen in these bathrooms like this like this bathtub would fill up with like blood or something I guess there is that one that has uh, it's like it fills up with like green ooze and like the hand comes out or something but I guess they're not doing blood with Ghostbusters everything's ooze
So far, so good. Oh, these ninjas, they're tough. Speaking of ninjas, um, there's a game on Sega Master System I want to play. Uh, oh, really? That got me. Um, Ken Sidon, I think it's called. I was asking in the chat what other like Sega Master System games should I stream, and somebody recommended that. And then I took a look at it and I was like, oh, that might be good. I hate these guys so much. Choplifter. What about Choplifter Plutonium P1? Did you just want to say the name of that game? Let's see, what game name do I feel like saying right now? Let me think about it for a second. Um, Honestly, the one that keeps coming to mind. Simple 2000. <laughs> There's like an obscure shmup. Simply Simple 2000. But you guys, most people don't know that. Let me think of another one. What game name do I feel like saying? We're going to play a little game. Just close your eyes and think. What's, what game name do you... What's the first game that like pops into your brain that you want to say? Ah, I thought of it. Strider 2. Strider 2. That's my game. That's our little game we're gonna play. Mega Man. God damn it. No. <laughs> Geometry Wars. There you go. Somebody play along. Geometry Wars. That's pretty good. I've streamed uh, Geometry Wars. Is there one called like Geometry Wars Dimensions? I think I've played that one on stream. I I need to do more Geometry Wars. I should write that down. What's the best? What's the best Geometry Wars? Is there like a best one? Like seriously. Like you know how you ask people oh, what's the best. Bomberman game, and most people answer uh, like Saturn Bomberman, right? Like, what's the best Geometry Wars? Evolved? Okay. I don't know if I played that one. Duray, thanks for the sub. And gamers up link subbed. Thank you. Ejaculate come demons, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, Mike, was Trelane from Q, from TOS, a Q in your opinion? Uh, 
I don't think, no. They haven't invented... In the original series, they hadn't invented the Q and the Q continuum and all that. I think that that was an afterthought that they came up with later. So when they were making Encounter at Farpoint, Gene Roddenberry is like sitting at a typewriter. He's like, uh, what am I gonna do? Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, there's that one episode with that like guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then like he comes up with Q because like that was an old episode. But he didn't come up with it, really. It's like whoever wrote Squire of Gothos, which is the name of that episode, whoever wrote that episode is the one that actually came up with that idea. So then Gene Roddenberry ripped off that writer to come up with Q. So Q is a rip-off character. So, in the, but in the original series, no, I do not think Tree Lane... I think Tree Lane was just the alien of the week on TOS. And then it was recycled, you know, and reused later. You know, and not to say that I don't like... I like Q. He's a like, good character and everything, but, you know, John, John Delancey's great and everything. But as far as, like, the character itself and the creation of it, it's a, it's a rip-off. They took it... it, it it's, they just took the... It's, and I don't think Gene Roddenberry came up with Trelane, is the thing. Some writer came up with it for that episode, right? You should look it up. So really... And also the theme song to Next Generation is not the Next Generation theme song. It's from the movie. It's from the first Star Trek movie, the motion picture. And the holodeck is from is from the original series too. It's from um, the animated one, which had the voices of all the original actors. So it's like all these things that are like next generation is, is like not really though. Like, oh, all the things that... There was, like, some quote from uh, DeForest Kelly talking about Next Generation, and he, and he says something like, I can't remember, I, I, if I ever find it, I'll tell you, but there's some quote, and he, he's like, oh, yeah, they're, they're over there redoing all the stuff that we did, like, 30 years ago, or something like that. It, that's not what he said, but it, something along those lines. He's like, oh, everything that they, you know, everything we did already... As, as pretty much. But then people don't want to watch TOS because they consider it campy. Even though that's where that, all that came from. It was much better done then. Marina's, oh, Troy, Troy's camel toe was an original idea, at least. Uh, you, you could probably go back to the original series. There's a lot of skimpy outfits. I don't even know if they have that. I'm glad you corrected yourself, weasel. Whenever you started Three Stooges, you always hoped you could play Ghostbusters, too. Yeah, the beginning of Three Stooges uh, on NES. Hey, hey, fellas! We're in the wrong game! Did the same company make Ghostbusters, too, as made the Three Stooges game? Is that why they were able to do that? I 
took everybody out. Okay. Wasn't there a room full of enemies here before? It's weird. You really like how tall my hair is? I can make it taller. See how good we can make this. God, I'm gonna die. Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna get my <laughs> messing around with that. I turned it back, right? Next thing you know, I, I then I leave that full screen up the whole time. Whoa. Then I end up beating the game, but I don't have the footage. Waiting for the second character to catch up, which is like kind of annoying. It's like hurry up and grab, grab him! Is that my first death though? That's pretty good if that's my first. So cheap. What, what am I gonna do? The guy spawns on me. There's nothing I can do. Hope that it doesn't spawn on me. That's full crap. They should spawn like away from me. Now. I don't like that. Even that! Like the only time I die is when something spawns on top of me. Stupid. Maybe I don't like this game. Ridiculous. I finally get an extra life. No! 
All right, that was fair. I will accept that death. At least it wasn't a spawn on top of me death. Secondary character sucks. It's like I'm standing there doing the proton beam for five minutes. You think like you could get ready with the proton pack and stand in the right spot? You're just gonna stand out like out against the wall like an asshole. That's what I get for bringing Lewis Tully. It should be not Lewis Tully. <laughs> Probably not Peter either. He doesn't really take the job very seriously. Any of the rest of them. Yeah, we're catching ghosts here. Take it, take it a little bit more seriously, all right? impression like Egon probably like hates Peter. No. The Egon like comes up with everything. Knows everything about the ghosts and like Peter's just like going on dates and stuff. It's like um you know you don't take this seriously at all. Where like why oh because there's somebody left. Thank you, Hackster, for the sub. Hey, one of them had to get laid. <laughs> That's true, because Ray is only, like, getting, getting ghost, getting ghost pussy. doesn't care. He's more worried about mold or whatever. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. So he's not. He's he's off the charts there. So we need the arrow to show up. Oh no, the Lu oh, Lewis uh, Tully. He gets laid in the first movie. He gets. Uh, Cause he's the, he's the key master, key master and the gatekeeper. Then again, though, when Lewis Tully got laid, he was a dog. So I don't know if that counts. Oh, dude, wait. Lewis Tully didn't get laid. The dog got laid. Or do they have sex first and then turn into dogs? How does that whole thing work? 
How does that whole like demonic dog possession sexual intercourse thing work? Not the first time I've asked that this week, but I'm bummed. Doggy style. Oh. Mike, say my name. No. Carpathian ever get laid? Is that why he's so mad? <laughs> Is that his problem all along? They could have just taken Vigo out and get him laid. I feel like, doesn't Peter make a joke like that? Like in the movie, actually? I feel like that might actually be like. I haven't, I haven't watched Ghostbusters in a while. It's like, what am I gonna do? Oh, and he came back? What? Oh, there's like multiples now? Oh, I, I, I wasn't catching them. These ones you have to catch. The, uh, those other demon guys you, you don't have to catch. <sighs> to be fair about it, there's that one boss in the lava. You don't have to catch those guys. The last one you do with these guys, you, you have to. that one part of Ghostbusters 2 where Peter's like, hey Vigo, we gotta go get you fucking laid, man. You remember that line? I remember that part very vividly. I might have saw a different Ghostbusters movie than you saw, though. It was in my mind. Do it actually, aren't I? Oh god. <laughs> this is the table, and he, uh, he pulls the You know what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not finishing. Go 
the right now. That almost spawned on top of me. That would have been another death. Jeez, how many? Get over here, idiot! If I don't beat it this time, I don't know, man. I don't know if I have it, maybe do it again. This is gonna be it, isn't it? So it's like, all right. I'm gonna have to avoid all this stuff. Oh my God. So I just shoot at him until he dies? I don't know if I have to like catch him. Oh, thanks, uh, I got a raid. Thank you, Aaron Plays, for the raid. Appreciate that. I'm playing uh, new Ghostbusters 2 right now. Uh, this is a European PAL exclusive, so I'm kind of near the end, but we'll see what happens. This part is like very difficult, so. Like, it's impossible. At least I have some continues. Dude, that's so, there's like not enough room to move. At least I have the continues. So I can try it again. Thank God. Again, courtroom scene. That's in the beginning. There's nowhere to go. Like ridiculous. How am I supposed to do this? I don't understand how this cookie could do this. It's gonna be over again. I don't know how to do this part. Maybe if their sprites were like half the size. Their, their sprites are so big. <sighs> you really think this being pal means it's running too fast to make this possible? Japanese version of this game. Would that be the same speed? That would be NTSA. <sighs> I'll probably die here, so I guess I'll go through it again, but play the play that version of it. I didn't think about the speed difference. Oh my god!
but you have to like hold it down on it, right? You can't just do like a little bit at a time. of a difference. Mother pus bucket. Oh, yes. All right, so here's the Japanese version. It does sound slower. Untold Darkness, thanks for sub. Like way slower. So I was basically playing like a harder version of the game that whole time. Oh my god, now you tell me. Alright. Let's go do this. Let's see how this goes. Colors different? I feel like the score was in a different color. This room shape is different, too. Wait, there's like way more of these guys. Wait, is this gonna be harder? Wait, 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 wait. This is a totally different. This is like way different. Oh, I, I, we're, whoa, look at this bathroom. talking about this earlier in the stream. I was like, yo, what about the differences between European PAL only and then like PAL, the difference between PAL and, uh, you know, Japan. And like, here you go. There is differences. I thought it was going to be the same thing. It's not the same thing. Also, so if I want to play any of those PAL games, I'm going to have to find a way of playing without the speed being all whacked. seems different. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad we're playing this now. Just to see the difference. This is worth it. Whoa! Oh, look at all. Look at, look at how many.
There's probably hacks to deal with the PAL speed issues. Oh, hacks. PAL. PAL. So all my, so all my European, hold on a second. I gotta write this down. So all my, So I'm gonna have to redo my whole European folder. If speed hacks exist, like NTSC. Does that even exist? Well, hopefully they've done that. I don't even know if such a thing exists. Thank you, Retro Maniac James, for some NES NTSC patches. Euro ROMs pre patched. Oh, we're playing on HDTV. Yeah, but I try to play my stuff, stuff on a CRT, so I don't really want to do it that way. Is it just me, or does this game like look better now, too? Like, I feel like this, like, I don't know, it just seems to like look a little bit better. Dad, I'm playing the Japanese version now. Chubby Catfish, yes I do. Will be tolerable now. Oh. These guys, you don't even necessarily have to capture them. Just get them out of the cart. They were flipped. Come on. point. Okay. You remember the scene from the movie? Uh, yes, this was in the movie. That is correct.
this looks really easy. Uh, most, a lot of it is, but then there's certain parts that aren't. But let's say that this was like totally just easy. It's not. Like, there's definitely certain parts that are rough. But um, like, sometimes I stream like Chippendales Rescue Rangers, right? Like that's easy. So what? Like I can't play Chippendale Rescue Ranger then? But yeah, I'd say like a lot of this is like these guys. These guys are easy. Like that's like none of that's a problem. Like this thing is gonna be easy, right? Like easy. But occasionally some of the parts are, are a little bit. But these ninja guys are a little hard. Fuck. See. Speak the fucking devil. The, the thing that's hard is that things spawning on top of you. That's the hard thing. Is Because there's like nothing you can really do about it. It's like, alright, something spawned on top of me and I'm dead. Well... This is just like a game over. No, it's not. Gonna be. Okay, this part's difficult. Here you go. There's a part that's hard. The ninja guys are a problem. Damn ninjas. Come on! I'm playing Rescue Rangers, there's like, the only part in Rescue Rangers that's hard, on the very last stage, there's one little like spot in Rescue Rangers that's a little bit difficult. But other than that, there's like nothing in that game. Metroid Prime before now, but I, I've beaten it on my own when it came out. Is this official or fan made? This is official.
Cinemaware. Oh, Activi oh, was it Activision? That sounds right. Well, if that's true, I'm surprised they were able to make that joke then about the, the Ghostbusters. I guess it's like parody, maybe they were like, The Game Boy Advance version and Three Stooges had better graphics. Yeah, and there's on PlayStation as well. Doesn't make the game any better. Same, it's the same awful game. It's like what people say about that Ghostbusters game on Master System. They're like, well, the Ghostbusters game on Master System is much better than the NES version. Yeah, but it's still trash. It's not a good concept for a game. Having a Ghostbusters game is a good concept, but the, the gameplay in that is just fucking awful. Who wants to do that crap? I'll tell you what, in the Master System, Master System version of Ghostbusters, you can save Gorza. So, I mean, oh, she got the money. So that's pretty awesome. Good old Gorza. Can't forget about that. Saw Ghostbusters. Like Ghostbusters? What? What's that? All the way out there. It guy's off screen. This whole part all seems like really super similar. It's like in the beginning it seemed a little different, but now it just seems like the same thing. I'm curious to see what this like fire boss is gonna be like in the lava, if that's like any different. Most of this audience has not seen Ghostbusters. What do you do with your days? We work out and play sports.
you, you go into like a restaurant here and there's, every, there's like all these TVs everywhere and just like football everywhere and it's just like everybody's just like everybody's been completely brainwashed I guess it's the ooze, though, from the library or whatever, right? This level kills the webcam quality. Does it? A little bit. Maybe when there's enemies on screen. Think they're ever going to fix that problem? Never. Like, oh, streaming? Oh, it works? Is it playing? Okay, good enough. We give up now. No more improvements. They're on some Hawaiian island getting their dick sucked. What? Oh, yeah. I think, uh... I think I was involved with, uh, making something. Something to do with the internet or something. I don't, I don't even remember anymore. Paycheck and I, that was it. Oh, what? Their webcams? What? Oh, if there's too much of the video game on screen, then it gets fuzzy? Ah, uh, whatever. They'll deal with it. Don't care. Don't care. Getting my dick sucked. Don't care. I think that's how that boardroom meeting goes. improved it by adding 15 different things that are all basically just ways to donate. Oh yeah, it's just different. You So like right now, like you could donate, right? So you can like do like subs, right? And we've always had subs. But now they're like, okay, well now you got uh, cheers. Oh, well what does that do? Oh, that makes it so like they can donate to you. Oh, okay. But there was already subs. Yeah, but now you got cheers too. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh, now you got a uh, now there's, uh, now there's, uh, bits. Oh, bits too? Okay, what does that do? Oh, that's so that they donate to you. But I thought the other thing, doesn't the subscribing, is not them donating to Yeah, this is like another, there's another thing. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, so my, like, webcam gets, like, all fuzzy when there's too many things going on in the game. I'd like you to fix that, because they can already subscribe to me, so I already get it. The, the money part of it is taken care of. Why don't you fix, like, the the infrastructure or whatever? Of the <laughs> they don't want to do that. Infrastructure, by the way, is not the, not the right word. I guarantee you the word is not infrastructure. good enough for me though. You gotta, gotta fix the highways? Huh? 
I need an oil change. What's wrong with your Elgato, Mike? Does this take synthetic? I like the little laugh they do. Slimer's laughing at me. Remember when Slimer had his own cartoon? There was the real Ghostbusters, but then like Slimer, I don't know. Was it Slimer in the real Ghostbuster? Or didn't he have a, his own show? Slimer Goes to the Circus or whatever it was called. You all remember that animated series. You used to come out on after uh, Batman, the animated series. Slimer Goes to the Zoo. It was a good show. Now, Slimer's, like, evil, right? So, they go to slime him and catch him in the movie, right? So, in the cartoon, they're just like, all right, now he's our, like, basically like our pet dog. What happened there, exactly? It's like, ah, this, this ghost's good. Is he? All right. How come, how come, like, remember the ghost that flew out of the sewer in Ghostbusters? How come he wasn't the good one? Why was it Slimer? Because there was a whole scene that revolves around it. So people remember that one because it's like a long, drawn-out scene in the hotel. So they're like, all right, it's going to be Slimer. Also, I think at a, at, a, at a certain point in the movie, he, eats, like, he comes out of the thing, he eats a hot dog, right? When he escapes from the... Um, the containment unit, like, blows up and all the ghosts come out. And then she's, like, so there's a part where Slimer eats a hot dog, right? Well, with kids' cartoons, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's like, well, why, is it, why do the turtles eat pizza? It's like, oh, well, the kids eat pizza. So... The turtles will eat pizza because kids like pizza. So kids will like the turtles because the turtles eat pizza. So Slimer eats the hot dog. Kids like hot dogs. They will be able to relate to the Slimer pet if he, Slimer also likes to eat hot dogs. Because that's what kids can relate to. Hot dogs and pizza. be over there. Oh, there. Oh, if I move him, the other guy moves over. So I have to be moving around. That's how that works. This game is so much better than the American version. Is it, though? Oh, the American. I thought you meant the European that I was just playing earlier. You mean the Ghostbusters 2? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I think so, too. I agree. Sorry, I thought you meant like the PAL version of this same game. 
I was gonna say, it's like, just, it's like slightly different. Other uh, uh, cartoons like that. It's like, okay, okay, turtles eat pizza. Slimer or whatever eats his hot dogs or whatever. Slimer ate anything. Oh, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo like eats everything, right? All the cartoon stars from the '80s were all just a bunch of fucking slobs, right? Like Sonic eating chili dogs. Yeah, yeah. Sonic ate chili dogs. Winnie the Pooh eats honey. I don't know. I'm not gonna count that one. <laughs> Inspector Gadget eats ass. Uh, Inspector Gadget fucks me in the ass. Yeah, actually. Did you guys know that? It's true. Thank you, uh, Live Do Pazia, for the sub. Inspector Gadget has an 18 inch cock and he shoves it in my ass after every single stream I do. It's amazing. So good. Go go gadget ass eater. Thanks. Garfield eats lasagna. There you go. Garfield eats a lasagna. That's a, that's another good one. Homer eats donuts. Pop oh yeah, Popeye. Yeah, Popeye eats spinach. Yeah. <laughs> that one's a little different. That's they're trying to get you to eat healthy food, you know. Like, well, Popeye eats it. See, that one's like a trick. You're like, well, Popeye eats it. I do want to be, I do, Popeye can beat the shit out of everybody. I want to beat the shit out of everybody. Okay, I'll try this spinach. I'll try this spinach. Right. So what you're saying that if I eat spinach, that I can beat the shit out of everyone? All right. Seems like a good. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> spinach is good. I like spinach. Bugs Bunny eats carrots. Right. Oh, back then, oh, like with Looney Tunes. Um, I don't know if any of them really. I'm trying to think. No, I don't know. The coyote eats the Roadrunner. That doesn't really work. What do Beavis and Butthead eat? They seem to eat a lot of nachos. They like nachos. I've noticed. On Daria, they always eat uh, lasagna. Have you ever, have you ever watched uh, Daria? Also, uh, Mike Judge. We'll watch their dinner table. Uh, every meal they eat pretty much is lasagna. Like TV dinner lasagna. actually had nothing to do with Daria. Well, Daria is on Beavis and Butthead. And and, they, and Beavis and Butthead would call her Diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea, Diarrhea. So... Eats burgers. There you go. That's another one. But see, they call him Wimpy. It's like, oh, you want to be, you want to be a wimp? You eat burgers. See what they're doing there? You see what they're, you see what they did there? They're like, Mike, we already know all of this. Why are you saying all these obvious statements? 
Because I, I've been through this game like 17 times now. And I have nothing left to say. So, leave me alone. And kiss my ass. That's why. This is a ripoff of Sunsoft's style example Gremlins 2. Did this game come out first? Somebody check. Mike, have you seen Phantoms with Ben Affleck? No. I've seen Phantom of the Paradise. Does that count? Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, I actually did see it. Um, uh, it was like nothing. Uh, they saved the part with the real Ghostbusters to the last couple minutes, and then it's mostly like the, these new characters and. It was better than that crap Indiana Jones movie. I'll, I'll, I'll say that at the least. God damn it. Hang on a second here. Uh, I don't know. It was forgettable. The thing is, like, okay, the first Ghostbusters movie, I like the first Ghostbusters movie, kind of like, it would be like, um, like a classic, you know, like comedy from back then. I think they're forgetting the comedy part of it, because they had this, like, whole scene at the end, and it's like all this, like, it's what you're supposed to be, like, sad over Egon and all this, and it's just like, yo, when I, when you watch, like, Ghostbusters, it was just like a funny movie. And I think they forgot the whole funny part of it because the movie is like not funny. It's it's all just about like the, the the lore of where is the I need the dude to come here. He's like stuck. This is not going well. The secondary character kind of sucks sometimes. It's like that's why you like Ghostbusters. That's why it's a good movie. And people remember it because there's like line after line after line things you remember like you, I bet you can all think of like a thousand different funny lines from the first Ghostbusters movie the whole movie but basically is just full of like great dialogue and stuff that the new one I don't remember one one piece of dialogue from it not one It's just another one of these nostalgia bait things. You know? I think people just like the whole idea beyond the comedy. I think pe there's another set of fans that like the the lore of it and, and the ghosts and the, the idea of catching ghosts and all that. But it's like, I like Ghostbusters because of the, the humor. And they don't make any of these movies like funny. And it, when they try, when they attempt a joke, it's always fucking horrid. You know? So, I don't know. So, yeah, basically it sucked. Where is he come going? You have to go up top, idiot. European version didn't do, didn't do that. Give the European version that.
Mike, do you like how they introduced Shandor as a threat and then just killed him off right away in Afterlife? Um, but who cares, though? Because the whole movie, I don't care about the, uh, the whole movie. Just don't have it. I'm already out before, before them killing off Shandor or whatever. I'm already out before then. Because it's not fun. Because the movie isn't funny. You know? Going a different way here, it seems like. This part is different. Great. Is it over? Okay. I don't think I had to go to this room before. That'd probably help. Who the fuck is Shandor? It's like the, like these throwaway like lines that they have in the original movie, you know. And then they have to now, then like later they have to expand on it in comic books and like these movies and stuff. And it's like you're forgetting the point. Like, oh, let's have a, a, a fucking 18 part mini series now. It's like what they do with the Star Wars shit, too. L let's have like a whole movie about Boba Fett. It's like. Or any any minor thing that happened. Let's, ha let's have a whole series about this minor thing that happened. This is the worst. So it's nostalgia bait. It's all. It's what it is. It's like, oh, they they're gonna remember. They remember Boba Fett. So let's do a whole show about that. Or they remember this like little thing. We're gonna make a whole movie about this. Or you know, that's what they do. Because they know that you recognize it and remember it. So they're using that to their advantage to get the money out of your pocket. Because it's something that you like. Anything that you liked. At one point, they're going to take it and, be, and make another thing with it so that they can get money out of your pocket. So they can buy a new pool. your favorite era of Popeye the Sailor? Like the early Fleischer cartoons. I don't like when uh, Popeye went into color cartoons. Like the Paramount stuff sucks. The early ones. P.S. Popeye the Sailor Man comes on me TV Saturday mornings. Okay, I have the DVDs though. Just get the DVD. You just need like the first DVD set. It's like the yellow one. And then you're done. That's it. That's all you need. Just get that one yellow Popeye DVD set. Those are all good ones right there. That's a DVD everybody should have, yo. There's a DVD set. It's the, it's the yellow, like, Popeye, and he's, like, punching. It's a great DVD. You should all have it. All right, here we go. Maybe let's we'll see if there's any slower. Or can I handle this now? like impossible to do this.
But then it's like I want to like let go of the thing, and then I'm too far away from it. I keep letting go. Ugh, but the fucking proton beam is like not long enough. Dude, this is so hard. Can I kill one of them? If I could kill one of them, this would be like... It is like a slightly easier. I hate this part. If I can literally, if I can just get one, it's like a li I got further. I guess it's slower, but it's still hard. <sighs> yeah, exactly, Henry. I have no idea what that is. Go! What? Why does it? Oh, I have to catch him. I didn't realize. Okay. Oh, he's gonna make more! Oh my god. What is one reel and then the. Now I have a method, though, by the way. Is one different? Or is there just a million of them? So you just like go up and down. I probably could have beat it on that European one. All right. I just didn't know what to do. Now I do. Now what though? I don't know how this. What this is gonna be? You did it. No, I didn't. Anybody know how this goes? Because I, I don't know this part.
shoot them in the dick. Why do I feel like that's the actual advice? Time to learn. Yeah, basically. Don't cross the streams. Oh, shoot him in the dick. So... Do you think, do I have to hold down the proton beam without letting go, or like, because the proton beam I think only lasts so long, right, let me, well, I don't know if I like have to hold it, just keep holding it down on him, or, I don't know. Just keep shooting. What about the trap? Like, is the trap involved in this, or do I just shoot him? You know. Just shoot him. the shaft and balls. Does he like start turning red or something? team today. Winston and Lewis. Hold A and B, press start at the title screen for a sound test. I'm good. Oh, the sound test. You can change difficulty mode and mode. Well, I don't want to change the difficulty mode. I want to be. I want to beat it for real. What you saying? Put it on easy? No. I would rather just not beat the game. Then I'll just turn it off. What would be the point? What happens on that mode? Vigo just dies. You walk into the room and he just drops dead. You don't even have to fire. He just dies. How's he die anyway? He's already dead, isn't he? Isn't he a fucking ghost? Ghost in a painting? 
Throw some fucking turpentine on there. That's all they really gotta do. Didn't they think of that? Why don't they do that in Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters 2. Just throw turpentine on the fucking painting. You don't need all this fancy bullshit. It's like proton packs and slime guns and all this. It's stupid. Now I think Ghostbusters 2 is stupid. Now that I realize it. It's a painting. Or just cut the painting. Cut the painting. Cut the canvas with a knife. You don't even need turpentine. Just take a knife and do a pen. Go a big pen. Go like that. Rip the fucking canvas and call it a fucking day. let you, he possessed the one guy. Fuck that guy! They just pushed him over! Dude, Winston would just be like, get the fuck out of here! Just push him, just fucking knock him over. Do not touch the painting! Get the fuck out of here. It's gonna destroy New York City. They're really gonna be, oh, oh, the art museum might be mad or whatever. Yeah, okay, well, how about when they made the Statue of Liberty, like, r run across town? That's not a bigger deal than, oh, the art museum got a little upset because the Ghostbusters, like, messed with the painting? I think they're gonna be more upset by the Statue of Liberty coming to life and like destroying half a city or whatever. Like, come on. A lit match would fuck him up. Yeah, you fucking light a fucking match and light the fucking canvas on fire. Watch him burn. There he goes. Man, they got a business to run. Oh, they got a business to run. So you're saying if they're not catching him with like ghost equipment, they're gonna be out of business. Because they're not treating it, they're just treating it like a painting and not like a ghost. That's a good point. That's fair. All right, fine. There you go. You're, you're, you're right. You came up with the solution then. They got, they got jobs to do. They know that they can just use a knife on the canvas. But they got to make everybody in New York City think that they're like big shot, ghost, ghost hunters or whatever. They got to keep their business going. So, all right, fair. That's totally, I, I agree. That's fair. Good point. Yeah, you win. means that the Ghostbusters aren't good people. Because then they're just in it for the money. Then you, then you ruin the character. Now you were ruining the characters of the Ghostbusters. Now they're just... Uh, they're only in the end for the money. I can see Peter being like that, but...
I don't see uh, I don't see the rest of them like that as people. Now they're not heroes anymore. Now they're just like now they're just shitheads. Like, oh, we could have ended this whole like really dangerous ghost situation like just by cutting the canvas with a knife. But we decided not to because money. There's the bag of money right there. Gotta get the money. They're just like the plumber overcharging for services. I was looking, chat. Watch that cost me the whole game. I need to pause it. You don't feel sexy enough? I would think you f would feel sexy enough. The, you're already completely naked and, and you're jacking off your little penis and then you have it, uh, semen all over your, your fat belly. So I would think that you would f feel uh, very sexy right now as you're watching my stream. But you don't feel sexy enough? You try putting a candle in your ass. We caught him. Hooray. I mean, it is Saturday, he says. <laughs> it is Saturday, after all. I think you've got a point there. On a Tuesday? No, that would be ridiculous. But on a Saturday night? Mm. off with a candlestick? What, like using the wax as lubrication? for your jerk-off session. That's only for Saturdays, Mike. Thank you, Deke777, for gifting, uh, for su subscribing. And then thank you, Perpengoal24, for gifting out subs to the community, who gifted out subs to Retro Doom Guy. Nomad Tech, Matt Apocalypse, Wolf, and T T Tom. If you guys got a gift sub from Purpin Gold, let them know you appreciate it. As do I. And T T, -T Tom, you sound like a member of the Shirt T T, -T Tales. Who remembers Shirt Tales? Anybody? Why wasn't there a Shirt Tales game? I want a Shirt Tales game. Uh, that's the hack. Make it make Shirt Tales hack. Where's that? Come on. Get busy. Br 
Broom Hatter. Thank you very much for gifting us up to Krim. How much to come hang out with me? Says Twisted. Uh, I am hanging out with you right now. What would be the difference? Okay, the difference would be there'd be a chair and then you'd be sitting there where, where Jack is sitting. What would be the difference between what you're doing right now and if you were actually here, Twisted? We could get pizza. Uh, I don't eat pizza anymore. I'm old and eat boring things. So no, we couldn't do that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no. Sorry to ruin your dreams. How about applesauce? Too much sugar. Is Mike a fan of wuzzles? Uh, I don't, I like, I don't, oh God. I don't hate the wuzzles. They're fine, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't... I remember there was, like, the stuffed animal. I remember the stuffed animals more so than the... There was a cartoon, and I think it was bad. So I more so remember the wuzzles for the toys. I almost died there. Or the... Whatever, the stuffed animals, or whatever they were. The plushes, I guess. I'm, like, trying to think about that question, like, seriously. Like, am I a fan of Wuzzles? I'm going to lean a little bit more towards, like, no. Not really. I don't hate them. But not really. I thought they were all dead. <sighs> Do I remember Brave Star? Yes. Mike's a fan of snorks. Uh, I like snorks better, but... There, there used to be, like, these PVC figures, kind of like the like the Smurf PVC. PVC. I liked, like, the those, like, plastic figures of them. Once again, I didn't really like the show. Even as a kid, I didn't... I couldn't really watch it. There was a lot of shows back then that, like, were not... There were... At least I felt like we're not like watchable. Like I couldn't watch the Snorks. I don't think I ever in my life could make. Even as a kid, I couldn't make it through an episode of that. Just didn't. Couldn't do it. I like the little figures though. Do I own troll dolls? No, I don't really like the troll stuff. That one I can pretty definitively say I do not like troll, like the one with the hair. I don't like those things. One thing I remember about that is like, you ever see somebody play bingo? It'd be like old people playing bingo. I remember they'd always have like their like troll dolls out for like good luck. Cause they're, in, cause they're insane. Yeah, the, the troll doll is gonna really help you playing like this random number game. Hey, I bet this plastic troll toy, I bet that'll help. What is 
superstitious, like, maniacs. Good thing I had my troll doll with me. <laughs> Alright. Peter Wiseman, too. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for answering the Wuzzles question. Yeah. What are we doing now? We did Wuzzles, we did... How about Popples? Anybody bring up Popples? This ought to be straight vodka. At this point, next somebody's gonna bring up Manchi cheese. Then I'm just gonna end the stream. I'm gone, I'm done. No more streaming. What are your serious opinion on Manchichi, Mike? Hey, Mike, what's your serious opinion on Jabberjaw? Well? I got homework for you all today. Here's my homework. When next time, when this stream's over, if you're watching now, if you happen to be listening, there's 682 people watching, right? Maybe two of these people will actually do this. So there was a cartoon called The Robonic Stooges. I would like you to go watch that and then come back another day on another stream and let me know what you thought of it. That's my homework for you. And don't think that it's, it's not good. I'm not recommending any good. They're gonna be like, yeah, Mike recommended this awful like '70s like, cartoon. I watched it. It was it was awful. That's the point. Which is garbage. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Inanimate object. I agree. K Train 39, thank you for the sub. Not Felix Fritz. I know. I know you said Fritz. Like R. Crumb. Like the animated movie. I know exactly what you're talking about. It sucks. I don't like it. But speaking of Felix, if you want to see something good, the old Felix the Cat cartoons, the silent era ones, are great. Uh, he t he'll take off his tail and it becomes a question mark and all that. Like, he, they're, they're awesome. I love the old Felix cartoons. That's something that's good that you can actually that I can actually recommend that I actually do like. Am I going the wrong way here? Or like, I think I'm going the wrong. Am I going the now? I see. I was like talking in the chat. And now I'm probably like going the wrong way. Oh boy, what have I done? There is a 
wacky races NES game. Yes, there is. That is correct. There's also a Ren and Stimpy NES game. Just look at a still image of the Robonic Stooges and you will crack up. Is that also Wacky Races PlayStation? Yeah, there is. This is true. You have to be throwing things, Slimer. Come on! You'll lose my full mind. Should be able to get an extra continue. It's hard to walk on this floor. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing too amazing, but not too bad either. What if I just reset right now, just reset the whole game from the beginning? I kind of feel like prolonging this a little bit longer. Just for no reason. Just reset it. Play it again. Well, oh, maybe I actually should reset it at this point. And I want to play through, I'll do a full stream of like Super Mario World, and then I'll get to, I don't know, like the Chocolate Island, and then just reset, just for no reason, just start over from the beginning. They're going to do this spawning on top of me, crap. Exactly. What does it matter? Beat the game, don't beat the game. What the hell does it matter? I have a whole list of games that I beat. Is anybody thinking about how I beat, um, uh, Desert Strike right now? Is anybody thinking, thinking about that? I guarantee you weren't thinking about that. I beat that game in the past. Nobody cares. So what the hell does it matter? You could just sit here like this. Doesn't matter, just put the controller on the ground. Just, this is fine, don't need to do any of this. It's pointless. What about Gauntlet? Oh, you were thinking about me being, beating Gauntlet? Well, that was... That game. Oh, oh, oh. That was 
that's some next level stuff right there in a gauntlet -like game. That is probably, uh, as far as I can think at the moment, of, of 2023, that was probably the craziest game I beat in 2023, I think. It had to be gauntlet. Game, game of the year. Well, there's a few months left, right? Maybe I'll top it or something. I don't know what, though. And then what it would it be? What would be crazier to beat than Gauntlet on NES? I don't know. I don't know if there is anything crazier than Gauntlet on NES. Silver Surfer? I've beaten it already. Silver Surfer is not even hard. SG one thousand, yeah, I own one. I need. I should stream some of them. Solar Jet, man, man, fuck that game. The ending, that's so stupid. I've seen Mike play Katamari, wish he played the second one. I want to. I will eventually. I better pop. Let me write that down. Because I keep, always keep forgetting about that. I, 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 I do need to do that. From the circus. Da, 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 da. Be Echo the Goldfish. I, I would love to play Echo the Goldfish. It's a classic. here is that I can do, I pretty much I know how to do that uh, second to last guy now so whoa so really it's just this last guy which I didn't quite understand the pattern yet I can just get that down and I'll have this done
This is the hemorrhoid monster. Which one? Or are you talking about your own ass right now? He's not even talking about the game. He just got his finger up his ass. Uh, in in a low. Thanks for the sub. I have no idea how to say your name. Was watching F Zero ninety nine vod. Can't believe you missed that one. That stream? Dedicate a television in your house to Mike Matei Live and always have the television on. And keep the volume up all the way. You'll be less likely to miss the streams. I streamed uh, F099 twice, three times, twice, something like that. By the way, speaking of F099, there's there if you you're playing the game and you see Mike Matei like playing, I keep getting these tweets like, "Oh, Mike, I'm racing, I'm racing, I'm racing you." It's not me. Somebody made their username my name, and then they're going around as me. So when you're playing and you're like, "Oh, it's probably my," it's not me. Because I keep getting these like messages from people, "Hey, Mike, I raced you in F Zero." No, you didn't. Now, a couple people in my chat did because when I was streaming it, I've pretty, I've mostly been playing that game just on stream. So if I'm not on stream, it's not me. With that game. It's people who wants Mike's dicks. I didn't type that well, lol. Now we all saw that, too. You can't even find Twitter anymore. Yeah, now it's like X, right? I think they should change it again. I think it should be... How about W? P. Maybe it could be P. If I had that, I would just change it like every like couple months. I say like by like December or something, they change it again. Just make it another letter. It's like, eh, I don't want it to be X anymore. I want it to be. Mm, how about I? Now it's gonna be I. Uh, I sent you a, I sent you a, a tweet. No, wait, I sent you an. I sent you an I on I. Oh, they might actually do that because, like, iPhone. Everything's got to be i this, i that, right? i message. iPod. Senketsu86, thank you very much for gifting this up to the legend David. I, I suck. Com. That's right. That's another good eye. That's true. Very good. You're one step ahead of me on that one. Good old, good old www.isuckcock.com. That's a good one.
Somebody earlier was mentioning a site, a uh, good site where you can watch old Popeye cartoons. So we got multiple good sites today. You got your Popeye cartoon website and your www.isuckcock.com. They should rename it to Very Big Penis. Rename what to Very Big Penis? Q would be a good social media platform for Star Trek The Next Generation fans. Ah, now you're thinking. Popeye will do anything for that spinach. Any fucking thing. You don't understand. When you think in your mind, you're like, oh, well, he wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah, he would. For spinach? You don't understand. Yeah, that thing you're thinking? Yeah, that. Really? Somebody says, really? No, not really. Not actually. Popeye just buys the spinach from the grocery store, and that's it. That's the real story. But see, it's not as good as the story now, is it? That's why I have to lie to you continuously. You like Popeye? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I also like Popeye. <laughs> Me like Popeye too. I mean, I do. He's, he's good. The old cartoons are good. He's fine. Popeye's great. Popeye's great. I don't want to hear anything. I hear your shit. Don't be talking down about Popeye. Hey Mike, what's a good NES game you can play and jerk off at the same time? I was thinking Arknoid because, like, if you have the Arknoid controller, but then you kind of need the other. Do you need you need one hand to hold it and then the other hand to twist it? So that's not good. Pac-Man. 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 You only pretty much need the D-pad to go around with. Pac-Man. You could jerk off and play Pac-Man. There's probably, there's a video, top 10 NES games that you can jack off at the same time. Miss Pac-Man, just, it, it, just, and, then, and, then, <laughs> and then you watch the video and it's just all Pac-Man games. So there's the Namco version, there's the Tengen version, then you got Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Mania. Ms. Pac-Man. Pac and Pal. Junior Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man. Professor Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man. Mm. 
the stream is dedicated to Toby Radloff. Randy Hathaway, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. You just sugared daddy's panties? I'm so happy I know about that now. Also very helpful to the gameplay here. What? I didn't even touch him, did I? You know what that sounded like when he died? It sounded like Pac-Man sound effect. Woo! How many are there? I think that's been enough now. Is, this a, is that a Patra right there? This is a Patra. Four hours. There's your Zelda reference. I wouldn't let you down. You know I'd get there eventually. So basically, like, I don't have trouble with this whole game, just the ending. I wish I could just always start here at this point. Like, the rest of the game is nothing. It's just a big waste of time now, you know? That would have been awesome. One. I'm not, I don't like that setup. an elongated proton beam. Hey, that's something that the ghost, first Ghostbusters game on NES has. The ropes shoot much further in the original Ghostbusters. Then in Ghostbusters 2. Try this stupid Vigo now. The child. Alright, so. Uh. 
Oh, it was in Tales from the Crypto. I didn't know that. So the chat's giving me some advice uh, for this boss coming up. They say, step one, shoot the dick. Step two, avoid the balls. Okay. I'm not sure if I can handle that, but... in general. on that part like that's the like when he shoots those out I don't know what to do <sighs> I guess I can move left and right but like, I don't know yeah I might I guess I'm gonna go like left and right a little bit I didn't really want to do that but thanks Joseph for the sub Child. Thank God. This has been an expert class in making a game look harder than it actually is. I just want to say that. I don't know, I was just playing like crap. It's not that hard. Definitely make sure. Well, to be fair, the other version I was playing for such a long time, it was sped up, so that made it definitely really difficult. So if you're living in the United States, don't play the European version like me, because it's sped up. Make sure to play uh, the Japan version. I was stupid. Hey, we have an actual ending here, instead of... Saturations. Another game. There you go. So I have a blog and a list of games that I've beaten. I'll, I'll add this to it. So check out my blog. There should be a link on my page to go to the blog. Go to the page that says um, list of games beaten because we updated it and now it's all images and then it'll link to the stream. So check that out sometime if you have never checked that out before. Because that's how I keep track of what 
I've beaten and what I haven't beaten, and it's available for you guys to, to look at as well. And if you happen to notice anything that's missing, let me know. There it is. Hey, fellas, we're in the wrong game. Thank you, Alraz. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, that is it for now. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, so, I'm also thinking of playing Splatterhouse, maybe. Wanpaku Graffiti. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I actually haven't... I think we beat that for a Let's Play, but I haven't done it for a stream. Um, so I think I, ta I have beaten that game before, but not on a stream here. Um... Oh, another thing before I go. So, as I was showing you earlier, we got like, uh, you know, we got the licensed NES games, all that stuff. We got unlicensed games. Like, we could play B52, which that's actually a funny game. Remember when I was playing Crystal Mines? I kind of like that game. Deathbots, that would be a good October stream, right? Um, I don't know, there's all kinds of things we could do. Or, better yet, we could play the unlicensed version of Pac-Man. Now, Pac-Man is a good game because you can use one hand, you can use one hand to play the game with, and you can use the other hand to 